What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back once again, and we are going to be discussing uh, something that we have not discussed yet on the channel, and that is going to be Stranger Things. Now, I have gotten into the series very late. Uh, I'm in season three right now, but I figured I'd go ahead and give you guys my first thought of the show so far, as well as the characters, who my favorite character is, who my least favorite character is. Um, so it's been kind of interesting uh, thus far with the series because I wanted something new to watch. And I'm like, okay, let's let's give Stranger Things a try. It's been um, out for a bit, so let's go ahead and give it a try right now. And again, I'm currently in season three, but I want to go ahead and give you guys my thoughts of the series thus far. Now, uh, for for I'm gonna go into first off. If you guys have, if if anyone sees this and have not watched Stranger Things, I do say give it a shot. Um, at first, I was like, uh, but if you guys are fans of, and I'm gonna try to give you a mix of different movies or a series that you can kind of go along with. Think of it as a mix between <laughs> Big Bang Theory, Stephen King's It, the remake, um, The Goonies with E.T. Uh, that is pretty much the uh, the closest way I can uh, get you guys to hopefully understand. Uh, if you guys have not watched the show yet, um, it it is basically, and I'm gonna give you guys a rundown. Um, it's about these friends that uh, uh, four friends. Their friend uh, Will goes missing. It is Will, Dustin. Uh, Lucas, as well as Mike, their uh, friend Will goes missing into another dimension. So as soon as that happens, everybody's going crazy, um, trying to find him. Then they slowly find out that there is another world that has all these monsters. That is where he's at. And throughout the entire series thus far, it keeps going to where it's always connected to Will. And between his mom trying to help him, his brother... And the sheriff of the town, as well as a new of a character by the name of Eleven, uh, nicknamed L. She has powers and others like her that were taken away from their mothers and have the abilities to do a lot of different things. Like she has the power to to use um, telekinesis, as well as um, other powers, which is really cool. Um, and she doesn't know nothing since she was very hidden uh, as a child throughout her life in the military base. But, again, right now in Season 3, so I can't go into a whole bunch of different details, um, the series itself, it, it, it has action, uh, it has a lot of laughter, uh, or, or it has a lot of uh, comedy in there, um, and I'm going to go ahead and say this, out of all the characters, I'm going to say between uh, Dustin... Probably Dustin is my favorite, and the reason why I like Dustin so much is because he's that kid, like you never, he's that guy that you never know what's gonna come out of his mouth, and um, it is hilarious, and he's just that one that brings the comedic relief to to the group. Um, Will, for example. I really don't really care for Will's character that much because it seems like we didn't get to see nothing from him in season one, which was understandable because he was the main focus to get Will back. And then in season two, he just became a real pain. And it was like, uh, what's going on? Then we got to save him again. So I was like, really? You got to save him again? And, and that's what kind of was like, really? And then now season three, he's become a little bit of a pain so far because he's so upset that his friends are getting girlfriends. And, of course, um, Mike gets with Eleven as soon as he sees her. He's infatuated with her. Um, Lucas gets with another character by the name of Max, who is uh, the stepsister of another character named Billy, who actually kind of grew on me, and so did uh, um, Steve, because they both were ones, like, in the previous season, they were a jerk, and then some of their comments was like, oh, okay, you know. It, it, it's sort of like the... Um, Oh man, how can I put it? Like if you guys watch Supernatural, like like Crowley and Rowena, for example, they were they were they were at their asses, but at the same time, you can't help but love and hate their character at the same time, or 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 vice versa. And that is pretty much how it was with the characters of them. Um again, it is a great um it, it's a it's a good show. It, it is. It's a really good show. It's very entertaining. Um, it takes place during the 80s, so anybody that knows nothing about the 80s, you're going to see a lot of different things, such as the music, the movies, the clothes, um, the way people talked, the way people acted back then. Uh, they really do 
uh, inhabit a lot of uh, 80s lifestyle back in the day. Um, you get to see a lot of uh, ways like the parents being, oh, this, that, and the other, and being very lazy um, suburban lifestyle of how that was back then. Um, just like how you see, um, uh, like, like, like for instance, um, a lot of movies that I've seen, such as like Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, Halloween, you get the, you know, like the, the not so bad looking mom and then you get the, the beautiful daughter and then you got the dad that's kind of average and the dad's always sleeping or saying, don't do this or don't do that, but he never does anything. The mom is always the one overreacting or, oh, you know, and, and that's pretty much that, that's it. And they, they really do inhabit that because what we've seen from movies, if you have watched Halloween, uh, Friday the 13th, uh, Chucky even, uh, oh man, what is those, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. There's so many movies that, you know, if you grew up on it like I did, you're, you're, you're going to notice that. And I'm very happy that you, you get certain actors in here that actually know how to act, even though some of them, out of my opinion, could use a little more work, uh, uh, seeing Renona Wider writer in here from Beetlejuice, uh, which I have not seen her in very much of a little anything until now, which is great to see her in something again, as well as a few other actors and actresses that's been in here. But I gotta give the show credit; it's actually it, it, it's not the best show, but it's a show to where if you want something to watch or something new to binge on, then I would say go ahead and give it a shot. Uh, it is something to where if you like monsters, if you like comedy, if you like, um, well, not cheesy comedy because there is a few, uh, like hitters and misses in this because like, for instance, like one of the characters, um, who plays Mike, he does play into, uh, the, the, the two remakes of Stephen King's it. Um, uh, also of course, Renard Wider. Then you got, uh, Sean Austin who gets into, uh, this, this series in season two, uh, you also get uh, just a whole bunch of other characters that uh, are actually kind of take you by storm. And it's like you're, you're shocked of they cannot just entertain because it makes you believe in all this stuff. Like with Elle's story, uh, with the this group of friends that's trying to keep everybody together and at the same time becoming uh, a little family, if you will. And I, I really like that. It's really cool uh, to see the progression of these characters and they're actually using the same, uh, actors, uh, because they're still very young. They're in their teens. So it's, it's very good to see them, uh, gravitate in their age because it, it, I mean, you start off like between 12 to 13 years old and you're now two years down the line. Yeah. You're going to be 15, 16 years old. And they're like, okay, what did 15, 16 year olds do back in the eighties? Duh. Mall make out somewhere, uh, possibly go do something else or movies or some crazy stuff like, you know, we do now today, but the eighties were the main antagonist of what you did and how it's pretty much has not changed. If you really look at it, um, only thing that's changed is technology. Like they still use walkie talkies. Um, of course, you know, home phone lines, uh, trying to figure out a regular, like an old school type of computer with, you know, a square you know, uh, uh, modern, and, and that's pretty much what they had back then, and they embody all that, and, and, and again, I really like that they're not trying to push uh, present into a now or, or back then, I think they are in certain ways, but you're not seeing it a whole lot like I would think, so that is my whole uh I, I wasn't trying to get in much of the story because, again, there is a lot of with these monsters that they really go back into. If you're a fan of World of Warcraft, uh, or let me rephrase that, not World of Warcraft, uh, Dungeons & Dragons, they do put that in there. They also put uh, just a lot of different comic relief uh, in in this um, in, in the show. And I, I honestly, I can't wait to see if there's going to be season four. I'm like halfway through season three, but I'll give you guys uh, more of a review on it. If you guys want, if this video does well, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you guys are new to the channel, ask about subscribing. Let me know what you guys think of stranger things. If you're already a fan, if you haven't seen it yet, go ahead and give it a shot and let me know, but let me know what you guys think in the comments and I'll see you on the next one.